In the other big news we're headlining, it is a sting that refuses to go away. Just a fortnight before the 2016 West Bengal Assembly elections, Narada News, an investigative website, ran a sting operation that purportedly showed many Trinamool leaders accepting cash from the representative of a fictitious company, ostensibly in return for favours. The party at that point had run an internal investigation on this issue. Now, on Friday, the Calcutta High Court ordered a fresh headache for West Bengal's Chief Minister Mamta Banerjee. The court directed the CBI to conduct a preliminary inquiry into the Narada News sting, which showed several of Banerjee's party men allegedly accepting cash on camera. It also asked for conducting the investigation within 72 hours and to register a case and that all materials and documents relating to the Narada case be submitted to the CBI within a day. Justice uh, Nishita Matre also slammed the state police for the investigation into the case, saying that it had, and I quote, ended up being with the respondents, unquote. Meanwhile, the Chief Minister has called a press conference uh, later in the day but refused to say much on the case except that the party will take the case to a higher judicial authority. She added that, and I quote, everyone knows this, that the sting was published from a BJP office, unquote. Okay, to discuss uh, this development in West Bengal a little further, we are joined by senior journalist Gautam Lahiri. Mr. Lahiri, thanks so much for speaking with us here at Weehorn. Uh, the footage that is being circulated of the sting operation is quite brazen. It is quite shocking. Uh, what exactly do you think or make of this purported sting operation? Well, to my mind, it's a uh, huge political or moral setback for the Trinamool uh, Congress government because High Court uh, judges have also said that the forensic science laboratory uh, findings about this video footage is genuine and they have instructed CBI to initiate the proceedings within 72 hours. So uh, after that, Mamta Banerjee has announced that she would be moving to Supreme Court uh, against this judgment. So we have to wait for the final judgment of the Supreme Court. But despite that, definitely opposition parties in Bengal will try to use this uh, as a weapon against the Mamta Banerjee's government. They were saying that Mamta Banerjee's government is indulging in corruption. It's a blatant proof, no doubt. But also today we have seen that in Parliament, uh, CPI members have tried to raise this issue. Right. Because this issue was referred last year to the Ethics Committee. But they are alleging that for the last one year, Ethics Committee has not started their proceedings on this issue. Is, uh, Mr. Relke Advani, senior BJP leader, is the chairman of that committee. They were trying to impress upon speaker to direct the ethics committee to initiate the proceedings. But uh, finally, speaker said nothing about this. So definitely it will be a political issue in Bengal. And uh, opposition parties, particularly uh, CPIM and the Bengal Congress and the BJP too, they will be up in arms against Trinamool Congress. And Trinamool will have to give a lot of answer to this allegations. All right, fair enough. Stay with us, Mr. Lahiri. I'm also joined uh, by Weon's correspondent, Raghavendra Rao, as well as uh, Fourth Halim, leader of the CPIM. Um, Mr. Halim, thanks for speaking with us here at Weon. Uh, I'll come to you with my question. Uh, what do you make of uh, this directive of the High Court? How significant do you think it's going to be in terms of a setback for Mamta Banerjee? Uh, and do you think it's going to have the kind of impact that this your party is hoping for? definitely indicative of a setback to the institutions that we have as a country. Now one has to clearly understand that one of the tapes that has been authenticated by the forensic lab, you have a person saying that I need money to fight in the upcoming election, that the election commission didn't take cognizance of it. In one of these tapes, you find people who are taking hard cash and you have the central government minister, finance minister coming to Bengal in the run-up to the last three years elections and promise that the income tax department is going to take cognizance of that. The income tax department didn't issue a single notice. And this judgment by the High Court is indicating that our institutions have failed the people of West Bengal. This Narada scandal, the, all the MLAs who were involved, that tenure finished last year, and the people of Bengal didn't get any indication from any institution of our country 
that the people that uh, that the people who have been taking money are actually culpable and we have finished an election you know this, this is the most unfortunate part of this entire investigation where mr lk advani who leads the what you call ethics committee in the 10 months has not conducted a single meeting in this direction Mr. Mr. Haleen, what are, are you suggesting that there's some sort of connivance between state and center? And if yes, how, what do you make of uh, the TMC's very uh, vitriolic, uh, uh, you know, uh, campaign against uh, Prime Minister Modi following demonetization? The two don't seem to add up. Well, it adds up very clearly if you see that within the ten months that a state election has been conducted. And you've seen the Trinamool MLA uh, support the BJP government in Manipur. You know, the BJP government in Manipur has been formed by the Trinamool MLA support. You know, you, uh, this, this uh, spewing of uh, vitriol at this point of time, I think, so just exposes this naram garam relationship between the Trinamool Congress and the Bharatiya Janata Party. One has to be very clear that this, what you call portrayal of this uh, behavior, is, is actually playing to the galleries. Look at concretely what is happening. The finance minister failed. You know, we are, you had demonetization, okay. and here you had people taking five lakh hard cash shown on 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 tape, and it is authenticated by the forensic lab. You know, the very crux of what demonetization was being sold to the nation as was occurring in these tapes, and the government, uh, the finance ministry, didn't take a single step. They didn't send a single notice to ask the people who are taking the money as to where they have accounted. Have they accounted in their personal accounts? Have they accounted in the party accounts? Not a single notice has been sent. It's abject failure of my institution and the politician that is involved in, in this. All right. It really exposes the economy between the Trinamool Congress. Allow and the me party. to comment, Mr. Le uh, Mr. Uh, Halim. Please stay with us. Uh, I want to take some of that across to my colleague Raghavend. Rao. Raghavend, uh, you know, there has been relative silence on the issue for the last six to ten months, as Mr. Halim is pointing out. Uh, this has, of course, prompted the CPM to uh, suggest that there's some sort of understanding that's come to uh, pass between the BJP and the TMC. Do you that, find that believable or is that a, you know, a stretch of the imagination? Well, as a political party, uh, the CPM is well within its rights to, you know, suggest all kinds of conspiracy theories. But the fact of the matter remains that the, the matter is now in judicial domain. Uh, the Calcutta High Court has, uh, you know, ordered a CBI probe. Uh, you know, that cannot be uh, taken away uh, or wished away like that. Mamata Banerjee is uh, in an embarrassing position right now, embarrassed position uh, rather right now. The fact that uh, a scam, an alleged scam, uh, where her uh, party, uh, party men were uh, perpetually uh, you know taking money from a fictitious company and now the uh, uh, high court has found merit in the allegations and has ordered a cbi probe saying that the state police was not competent enough to do the job uh, this comes as a huge embarrassment uh, well the silence may have been there uh, for a while uh, when when the scam initially break out uh, broke out uh, the uh, tmc was quick to point point out that it was uh, you know handiwork of the bharatiya janata party in the run up to the west Bengal Absolutely, polls. they did do that. Right, Raghavendra, stay with me. Uh, we're running out of time on this segment. I want to take one quick question across to Mr. Lahiri. Mr. Lahiri, Mamta Banerjee still managed to pull off a sweep in the Assembly polls despite the release of those tapes just before them. Do you feel this investigation will do little to sway her stronghold uh, in West Bengal? Well, ultimately, we have to wait for the Supreme Court. Just when, uh, when the West Bengal government comes and uh, petition, files a petition against this High Court order. But the point is, in the last assembly poll, this Narda issue was top of the agenda of all the campaigns. Even Rahul Gandhi, when he was, uh, he was aligned with the CTI and they was, he also mentioned about this scam. But people of Bengal actually didn't believe this because despite all those Trinamool leaders having some kind of a tainted, uh, they tried to give a tainted picture of those leaders, but people of West Bengal believe that Mamata Banerjee is not involved in any corruption personally. All right. And Mamata Banerjee cleverly played his played her card that she is fighting in all the assembly constituencies, not the Trinamul MLA. So enough. I I don't know. I, perhaps right at this moment, I don't think Mamata Banerjee personally will be affected by this judgment, but definitely it will be a setback for the Trinamul Congress as a party, no doubt.
Fair enough. Uh, Mr. Lahiri, thanks for joining in on the program. Also, uh, my colleague Raghavendra Rao and of course, uh, Faud Halim, thanks for joining in with uh, your inputs. We will continue to track any developments that come on that story. But at this time, we are going to take a short break. But when we come back, we'll see how India is doing in the Rachi test against the Aussies. Stay tuned.